Hi, I'm Jesse Rivera with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. We're here at a federal hatchery where we have these state-of-the-art auto fish trailers and I'm going to take you inside and show you what they're all about. All right, let's go to the front of the trailer where I'll show you how this process works. Up here is where everything's controlled and the process begins. So fish are brought into this uh, fish loading door here and dropped into this trough, which is a holding tank for fish. Uh, at the bottom of this trough is a fish valve, and that valve is controlled by a computer system here. And this system will tell that valve when to open and close. Uh, it works on a contrast between white and black, and we can adjust the number of fish that are sucked up into the sorter system through this computer. So fish are sucked up through this hose, and they're led into this entry tray. And this whole system here is a sorter, and this basically will sort fish by the length. And the trailer operator will set up each of these six lines for a specific size range of fish. And that's done at this computer, computer up here. Um, so, fish will swim down the two chutes, they're measured, and then they go through these series of tubes where they drop down into these entry trays. Uh, once in these trays, fish are attracted by water flow into these channels. So they'll swim into each channel, and then there's a series of gates and sensors that will monitor the fish as it travels down to this area here. Here we have a camera imaging system and then a set of foam pads that'll grab and hold each fish for a split second. In that split second, the camera will photograph the fish and then the computer will determine where the adipose fin is. Tell, and then it will tell the clipper where to drop down and clip the fish off, the, the fin off. And then after that, the camera will take a second photograph and then compare the first photograph to the second photograph and that way it can uh, determine whether the fin was completely clipped or not. So once that happens, it'll drop the fish down into the chute, and depending on whether the fin was clipped properly or not, it'll either go to this bucket, which is called a reject bucket, for fish that were not properly clipped. If, they were, if the fin was 100% removed, then it will switch the gate and send the fish out to one of the raceways where it will reside for the, until it's released from the hatchery. Okay, so back here is where we have our hand marking station. And this is where the reject fish uh, that are processed. So those are the fish that weren't clipped correctly by the automated system. And then they'll mark any fish that are too big or too small for these machines to handle. So back here they'll process around anywhere from six to 8,000 fish per, per day per person. Uh, so right now we have three people working. Uh, they'll clip them with a pair of sur surgical scissors and then they'll count each fish and drop them down this trough where they'll go back out into the raceway with all the other fish. The Fish and Wildlife Service fish marking program is responsible for marking fish at 15 different federal hatcheries. We mark around 30 to 35 million fish per year there's a team of seven of us who travel throughout the region and operate the automated fish marking trailers and hand marking trailers.